Yo, bendición, help and kiss little here. Um, I just finished doing the Obatala video and I wanted to just let you in a little bit on, on my world and my process. So as you know, um, I am working on the Babuluaye video. If you haven't seen the last the interview video, that explains a little bit. But I want to get a little bit more in depth because I think uh, people are interested in that. Um, so I did film already uh, last, I want to say Sunday, I filmed the Candomblé uh, Omolu in Brazil. Um, Babaluaye is called Omolu, but he's also, you know, he's also called Babaluaye, Obaluaye, Omolu. Um, and so I made an entire Mariwo outfit specifically for, for Omolu. And it was a pain in the ass, but I got it. And I, I'm really, really happy about it. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of uh, of how it's come out so far. Having to learn the dances. There's not too much music on him. There's not too much content. You know, how I get the dance steps uh, is YouTube. And it's very, very useful. The same way I want to be helpful to you guys when I make the music videos and the informational uh, or informative, I should say. Um, tutorial videos for the songs I'm using the same platform that you guys are using to watch me and learn I'm on YouTube looking at the dancers learning the songs um, the stories uh, I also filmed on the I believe the Sunday before uh, San Lazaro so as we know Babaluaye is syncretized or synchronized syncretized with St. Lazarus and that was filmed and a lot of prayer went into uh shall i say creating that character if i had to put it into words all due respect to san Lazo. um i went to the forest and i prayed to san Lazo. Uh, i i put a candle to him uh at the, there's like a statue my mom has a statue of san Lazo, so i put a candle to him and asked for his guidance so i went to the forest and i knew that i wanted crutches uh, to represent them, but I knew I couldn't use like modern crutches. So I went to the forest and I got two two wooden ones and I, I found a, a beautiful cane and, uh, and a crutch. And I just felt like, you know, some renditions of, of San Lazaro have him with two like wooden crutches. And I felt like, you know, my gut was saying, get a, a one cane and one crutch. It wasn't until later on during that same day that I saw a rendition of him with a cane and a crutch and says, oh, you know, hey, maybe, maybe he didn't walk around with two canes. Maybe he walked around, or maybe he didn't walk around with two crutches. Maybe he walked around with a cane and a crutch. Who knows? Uh, really cool little tidbit is the same night that we filmed um, the San Lázaro video. Uh, that same night, I had a dream of San Lázaro. And... There was, it was a Catholic church and there was a whole statue of him and there was a homeless man. And I was acknowledging in the dream saying, oh, you know, you should give to the homeless because, you know, it's also acknowledging San Lazaro. And it's not like I've met St. Lazarus in my dream, which would have been credible. But I still find it to be prueba or proof that, yo, San Lazaro is acknowledging that I was representing him. And I take it as a thank you. Um, so that was really, really cool. And, uh... You know, we had a dog and we filmed, we filmed everything. And as you can see here, you know, I've been growing my hair out, you know, so I can play San Lazaro. I, I grew a beard so I can play San Lazaro and I got rid of it so I can go back to my, you know, traditional look of as an artist of Conquistador. But I had the beard and the hair and uh, put baby powder in my hair to look older. Um, I put peanut butter on my legs so the dog can, can lick my legs. Like we went all out. It's I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this. Um, and now I have to film the regular Lukumi style Babaluaye. And there's a whole story associated with it. Um, and uh, I definitely want to speak more about that, but I don't want to make this video too long. But I just want to give you a little little view of my process and, and my experiences as an artist and as a person. So. And if you have any questions for me, be them personal, music related, um, you know, about the music videos or have any requests or comments. You know, I read all the comments and I try to respond to all of them. Uh, I appreciate 
like honestly like I truly truly appreciate everybody who does comment a thank you um, goes a long way for just a little youtuber like me and um, but yeah let me know in the comment section what topics you want me to cover do you want to know more, more about me about my artistry about my history do you want um, like what other Orisha do you want to hear? I mean, there, there's so many, you know, friggin' Dada, Oge, uh, Ibeji, like I'm trying to think of ones that aren't common, uh, Iroko, uh, who else, who else, who else, Yewa, Oba, Naraburuku, uh, the uncommon ones. I, I, I enjoy doing the, the, the uncommon ones. So like when I did the Obatala video, I didn't want to do, you know, Baba Fururu or NYE ni Moseo. I want to do like the uncommon one for Anyagona. So let me know. What else do you want to hear? What other content uh, do you want to see the sets that I'm that I'm you know working on? You want to see the costumes that I'm working on? Let me know what it is that you as the viewer want to see. Um, that's it.